We, we promise we'll have, we'll have the Indians game on if uh, if they're playing. We promise. Oh yeah, <laughs> right. And we're not joking. Yeah. And we will. <laughs> and I was reading an article on ESPN earlier. There are a lot of possibilities that game could be pushed back, considering if there are tiebreakers in the wild card game. Yeah, I mean, there are yeah. Crazy all kinds of crazy things. Happen. But it, it, it most likely is targeting a four o'clock start on Thursday afternoon. Touchback time. Good fellow. And I love Mr. Hamlin running all the way for the football. <laughs> Doesn't he? <laughs> Good hustle out of our band director. <laughs> <laughs> well, 9.26 remaining in the second quarter. Parma back out on the field looking to do something with it. I'll have two wide receivers at the bottom of your screen. Lions and the shotgun. It's going to hand it off here and hit hard. Looks like the entire Wildcats defense <laughs> came in for that one. It probably felt like it to him, too. That was a big time hit laid upon him. They'll give him maybe a half yard there. Uh, who carried it? Once again, the Redmen taking their good old time getting the play in. Second down and nine. They're going to hand it off here. That's post, I'm going to say. Getting gain of maybe one. So they move up only a yard. And if you look at Parma... Like I was talking about the last possession, it's a lot of east-west running. I mean, they're not running it right up the gut. Possibly it's because they've tried and haven't succeeded. But if you're talking about their running game and the reason why it hasn't succeeded tonight, that might be a reason to look at. And on third and seven here, you might think about going through the air. Lion throwing. And it is incomplete. Tended for... about going to give give up on these names. Well, Anthony Prokop out to punt once again. Another three and out for, for the Redmen. This is a actually good punt by Prokop. It's going to be a return here. Jukes in and out. And finally, going, it's going to go down at the 36-yard line. Ooh. Sam Snyder with that return there. Uh, and Sam Snyder got hit hard right there. I mean, the Redmen were all over that, but that was the best punt of the night, by far by Prokop. Snyder bobbled and was able to recover, but, you know, the Wildcats haven't had to start in two had a field good field position tonight. Outside of being maybe behind their 35 yard line, they've really had great field position, and this is more of the same starting at their own 36. Quick update: the Indians have won six to three in their game. Stowers once again open field. He gets the first down. A whole lot more here goes Stowers. Cuts back out and. Out to the, they're going to mark him at the 42 yard line. Pat Ryan still out there at quarterback. And Matt, last week we saw Alexander at the end of the game, and we saw him in both Normandy and Valley Forge games. I wonder if Recifo wants to keep Pat Ryan in as long as possible tonight, knowing that it, we're in the second half of the season. This is Ryan. Taking himself here, knew the pressure was coming to Stowers, and he goes down hard. Ball came out. I think 